Today is an important day because overnight we've issued a statement uh, as, um, as the AUKUS partnership. And the AUKUS partnership, as you know, um, was put in place uh, by our government together with the United States and the United Kingdom as an important partnership that would massively upscale our capabilities in terms of our own defence and bringing a strategic um, balance within the Indo-Pacific region. Now, of course, everyone knows that the biggest part of that program uh, was the nuclear-powered submarines, and that's the first time that that technology has been made available by the United States to any other country uh, since the United Kingdom had it in 1958. So this was the most significant defence agreement that Australia has entered into since ANZUS 70 years ago. And this enables us to keep ahead and stay ahead of the many challenges we're facing with security in our region. Now, the other things that are part of AUKUS, even more significantly than in, in some respects, especially in the near term, is the work we're doing on advanced defence technology. And here at Tullis, this is what they do. Um, they are world leaders right here in Parramatta in the, the Sonar Array technology that they develop, not just for here in Australia, but all around the world. And that is a demonstration of Australia's defence industry capability. Now, what we've announced overnight is that uh, hypersonics and the, uh, the various technologies that surround hypersonics um, are very much a part of what the AUKUS partnership is, is striving to deliver, not just in Australia, but in the United States and the United Kingdom as well. Working together, the best technologists, best defence industry, uh, the best of our, our defence forces, ensuring that each of our capabilities is being raised. And that goes along with artificial intelligence and quantum. The hypersonic missiles, when will we see them? Why do we need them? Is it because we're worried China will invade us? Is it because we're worried China will invade Taiwan? What are we seeking to prevent or seeking to arm ourselves with? Well, that's all, I think, very clearly set out in the long-range strategic plan that I updated two years ago, and you'll be very aware that a key part of that plan is um, ensuring that Australia has long-range strike capabilities. Now, these missiles, hypersonics, uh, are one of the fastest developing area of missile technology, and uh, while uh, to Australia, together with our partners and allies, um, have very sophisticated and very advanced forms of defence. Um, hypersonics are, are an area where we're looking to significantly upgrade our capabilities. And they're part of modern warfare, just like cyber is part of, of modern warfare. That's why we put $10 billion into the Red Spice program in this budget to ensure that we can deal with the disabling impact that can come when we have cyber attacks. Now, that's the most significant investment that's ever been made in cyber warfare. But when it comes offensive and defensive, but when it comes to hypersonic missiles, they are one of the key technologies of combat in the future, and uh, the long-range strike capability is a critical part of our defence, as set out in our defence strategic plan. Is it your belief in the next decade China will invade Taiwan? And if they were to do so, would Australia be at war with China? Oh, look, I, I don't engage in that sort of inflammatory re rhetoric, Andrew, uh, because it's not my job um, to um, put Australians in a position of concern. It's, it's my job to build our defence force capabilities working with our partners, and AUKUS is the best example of that, but so is the Quad, to ensure that we can protect and defend and avoid any of the sorts of scenarios that you're talking about. That's why we do these things. We do these things to keep Australians safe. We do these things to bring balance and strategic certainty to our region, and that's why we work with so many partners in the region. Now, we engage in this um, as an effort to achieve peace and stability, not the alternative. The reason we invest in all of these things is to create a peaceful environment and a stable environment in our region, not one driven by conflict.